Hi, and welcome to this Roll-On Tech Talk. I'm Jacob, an engineer at Roll-On. And I'm Don, senior engineer for heavy RTU systems at Roll-On. Today, we're at our robot transfer unit production facility in Norton Shores, Michigan, to discuss Roll-On's RTU systems and how they can provide automation solutions for your production floor. Now, Dom, robot transfer units expand the work envelope of robots by moving them across uh, production space, but what else can they be used for? They can be used for palletizing, welding, material handling, machine tending, and anything where a robot can be useful. They can also be used for product shuttle, so moving a headstock, tailstock, weld wire drums, conveyors, and other equipment the customers may have. So what do you need to consider when selecting an RTU for an application? The primary consideration is the size and capacity of the robot being used or the type of payload being moved. Our manufacturing process is vertically integrated here in Western Michigan. So during the design process, we also consider any support structures that needs to be built like risers, legs for gantries and RTUs, and custom solutions for ceiling or overhead mounting. So what kind of customizations can we provide with these RTU systems? When a floor mount RTU isn't suitable, we can offer a variety of configurations from an elevated RTU to a wall mount to an inverted RTU. We also have partial or full covers and drivable covers for mounting in a pit beneath floor level. Now, what about the environmental requirements for these systems? We can manufacture RTUs for any clean room to welding and painting, including explosion proof environments. Okay, so what's the process like for a customer that wants to work with us? We do an engineering consultation up front to recommend a configuration and then finalize the system design. We assist in drive sizing, cable carrier selection, and we provide auto loop systems if requested. We ship with a gearbox and leave motors and controls to be installed by the customer. We offer a complete build schedule and regular updates and pictures from our production floor. We do this to provide transparency and on production status, and then we can provide a basic runoff to ensure the system is functioning prior to shipping. And then do we provide installation services for our units? On request, our Millwright team can install at the customer location and then later troubleshoot any issues if necessary. So what kind of performance can a customer expect from our RTU systems? Robots from the Kawasaki RS006L and FANUC M20 up to the Kawasaki MG15HL and FANUC M2000 and any other robots on the market today. We can carry payloads up to 20,000 kilograms or more depending on duty cycle, speeds up to 3 meters per second based on servo motor capability, and standard precision is plus or minus 20 micron. So what's our standard for lifetime and reliability for these RTUs? Our target lifetime is 100,000 kilometers for each system. Machines have a welded rigid construction and we mill and weld everything in house. We also provide modular segment lengths that can be extended on requests from two up to six meters in length. So what kind of maintenance requirements should customers expect with these systems? With the Nautilube system, all the customers should need to do for maintenance is monitor the lubricant level in the reservoir and fill it to the max fill line. Can customers specify the components that are used on their RTU? Yes, we provide commercially available off-the-shelf linear profile rails and gearboxes to any specific requirement the customer has. And we have no proprietary spare parts. Okay, so that covers our large steel RT systems, but how about our smaller units? For the smaller robots, we offer aluminum frame RTUs. Those actuators can move robots up to 140 kilograms, and the rack and pinion actuators can move robots up to 1,500 kilograms. More information about these systems, along with our CAD models for our steel RTUs, are available on my roll on. So what's the future for RTU system production here in Western Michigan? We're looking forward to moving into our new facility that's 150,000 square foot, a few blocks down the road in a few months. Customers are always welcome to visit here or in the new facility at any time. We're always happy to show them around. All right, thanks Dom. If this video was helpful for you, please leave it a like and leave a comment with any questions you have or with what you'd like to hear us discuss next. For more straight talk on linear motion, subscribe to our channel to see tech talks as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.